guys, it is that time again for another Player Era project. This time we're going to be doing Mr. Hugh Michelini. Um, he played from 1952 to 1964. He was called The King, was his nickname. 13-year career, he played for the 49ers, the Vikings, the Giants. And then one thing I didn't know, um, I found out through doing the research for this video, um, was he played for the Lions his last year. I had no clue. Um, Six-time Pro Bowl, he was part of the Million Dollar Backfield, which was Y.E. Tittle, Joe Perry, John Henry Johnson, and Hugh Michelini. So can you imagine the defense, and this was like 1954, 55, 56, um, the defense with seeing Y.E. Tittle lined up under center, and the three guys behind him is Hall of Famer John Henry Johnson, Hall of Famer Joe Perry, and Hall of Famer Hugh McElhaney. Whew. <laughs> you have that coming at you, man. You might just want to pack it in and call it a day. Um, so pretty excited about this. He's been a great TTMer for so many years. Um, and he's actually 91 years young. So if he's one of the guys that you need to get on your list or you have some uh, Hugh Michelini cards laying around, I highly suggest um, that you get them in the mail. Um, right now, today's date is March the 2nd. We're in the middle of all this coronavirus stuff um, and he's actually still signing his mail in the middle of all this craziness so that is that I will put his address down in the section down below here and um, I've been doing that with a lot of my player era um, projects if you haven't noticed I've been doing it for a little bit now so that is that let's get to the cards and get to some more stories so I'm going to start this player era project off with a couple missing cards that are actually in the mail right now. Um, so we're doing Hugh Michelini. So this is the 1952 Bowman. Um, the one that I sent off was the small, uh, 1952 small Bowman. Um, so hopefully that comes back. He's been a great um, TTMer. But with all the stuff that's going on in the world right now, you really don't know how people are going to sign their fan mail no matter how automatic they've been in the past um, so moving on this is an absolutely stunning 1953 Bowman beautiful card beautiful bold blue signature um, very 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 happy with this card and then next is, is a card that we don't have that's with the 1952 and that's his 1954 Bowman so hopefully those come back sooner than later Moving on down to the 1955 Bowman. And these cards back then, they're just so nice. So freaking cool. This is the 1956 Tops. And then next is my favorite football set of all time, the 1957 Tops. Um, has the Bart Starr rookie, um, I believe Johnny Unitas rookie. Um, I just love how it has the portrait on the one side and then an action on the next. A 58. And 59 tops. Mr. Michelini is, is not a young man anymore. He's been around for a long, long, long time. And he's been a really good TTMer for a very long time. So if you haven't got him, I highly suggest you throw $20 in an envelope and get him a couple cards and he will sign them. There's a 1960. It's the bold black signature. Um, not my favorite color on an autograph on a, uh, for a card. But hey... It's signed nonetheless. The 1961. This would have been his last card with the, um, or excuse me, this is his first card with the Minnesota Vikings. He was known um, to be a 49er forever, million dollar backfield, playing with Y.A. Tittle and all those boys. 1962. 1962, that would have been uh, Fran Tarkington. He has a rookie card in this set, and so does uh, Mike Ditka. And then last but not least, the 19... 
or excuse me, that wasn't a 52, that was a 62. And here's the 1963, his last player era card. So, very, very cool run. We're just waiting on those last two, that 1952 small Bowman and that 1954. I'm really, really confident Mr. Michelini will not let us down. Um, and that is why I'm filming this in advance. So, hopefully, we'll be able to fill these two holes. That's what she said. So, this being Las Vegas, Nevada, there's actually a couple Hall of Famers that their items come back postmarked from there. So, I'm thinking probably Hugh Michelini, but I'm not 100% sure. This thing is just water damage to hell. You can see all those water damage marks and ruffles, if you will. Um, and it came just like this from the post office. So, just beat to crap. So, let's give her a rip. It is Hugh Michelini. Um, and you can actually see some water damage on the post-it note. I hope it didn't get to the cards. <laughs> nice. Um, this is actually his rookie card that, oh no, are these things stuck together? No, 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 no. Oh yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Beautiful save. That is absolutely stunning. Um, this is the mini. There is a full-size version, but this is the miniature. There's a little damage there. Um, but this is just an absolute beauty of a card. And then don't forget about this little guy that came with him. Holy smokes, man. And I think I might be wrong, but I believe this totally completes the Hugh Michelini player era collection um i'll have to look in the binder i wasn't expecting to get these back so fast um oh my god i'm like super excited right now so freaking happy uh that's that thanks for watching